Bryce Ewald here for another Survivor Goat session. I, uh, sorry it's been so long since the last one I made, but, you know, uh, I've been living with miniature wolves for the past 30, 50 years. Something of that sort. I mean, I kind of, you know, I thought it was going to be a good adventure, so I went and hung out with them for a while, kind of got sucked in, and before I knew it, I... I was there for a while, you know. Yeah, but nonetheless, we're coming from a new location. Another one of these locations never inhabited by any sort of animal whatsoever. Like, there's nothing at all around here. I mean, there's trees. I don't know how they survive. Probably... Probably water and rain, but you never know. It could be some hybrid species of some sort. That's what I'm going to go with, hybrid species. But, you know, I've been living off these uh, these leaves of these plants. You can look at them here. Really good. A little bit fattening, but, you know, it does the trick. Not sure if I was in the, in the frame for the past couple seconds. But... We got some weird stuff around here, you know, just a quick view of the scenery, like this is never, ever before seen by anyone, like it's just, it's a weird feeling you get when you know you're the first one to see something, you know, I, no one has ever seen that rock before, it's the first person to see it, you know, I don't think the rock's seen the rock before, which is a weird concept in itself, you know. But there's like this, it's amazing that this, this island, which is said to be off the coast of Spain, but I sailed from the coast of Spain in search of this island, which they said was unreachable. And I was sailing for at least a solid nine to, nine to 34 months, somewhere in that region, you know, and I finally landed here, and I knew that uh, that it was this place, which you know I guess they call Savaga Zoo, but I mean you can call it whatever you want because it's, it's not like anyone's gonna come here on vacation. So I mean this is never before seen footage right here. Like you guys are getting the real deal, you know. But back to what I was saying, this this island, it's completely different because it's. Like I was saying, the hybrid plants, you know, everything adapts. There's this wire that grows out of the ground. I'm not going to say it looks like a fence, because it's definitely not, and it doesn't look like that. But, I mean, if I had to compare it to something, I'd probably say that. But it, like, grows and it intertwines in a weird way that is just, you know, incredible. And the trees are growing in conjunction with it, which, you know... It just shows you how well this island uses, I mean, it relies on uh, the different uh, pieces of nature to survive, which is, you know, you just don't see that anywhere else with any other society. Mainly not human society, you know. But it's incredible. This, you see, this looks like a palm tree right here. This, no shot. One, it's way smaller than palm trees are. And, uh, two, it's got these little berries. See those? Yeah. They say if you eat one of those, you won't have to crap the rest of your life. I'm thinking about eating one because, uh, you know, it's getting, getting real tired of wiping myself with my own food, with those little leaves. And you saw the size of those things. It's not enjoyable. But, nonetheless, it's just... It's amazing. The sun is just 300 to 400% more intense here than usual. There's no such thing as shade. Like, it's amazing. I mean, it goes right through solid wood. I mean, look at this. You know? Yeah, that's solid. Like that. I might have broken my knuckles. Thanks for that. But, you know, it's really incredible to think that, you know, absolutely zero people will ever, ever experience this, because, 
no one has the patience to sail for, you know, three to four years, like I had to do, you know, but it's incredible. They also have these little mechanisms, not really sure what they are, but they, uh, they emit some sort of illuminescence at light, at night. It's very odd. You see that? Yeah. Not really sure. I'm scared to touch it because, you know, I don't want my finger to glow the rest of my life. But I'll eventually probably touch it because I'm getting desperate at this point to, uh, you know, become the greatest uh, of all time, you know, in general. Not at one per specific thing, but in general. You know, it's really a different thing, different feeling, out of body, some, some say. You know, I'm not going to go into the philosophy of it, but I mean, I've had a lot of time to think. A lot of time to think. And uh, it's pretty much my conclusion on the day. But, you know, until the next time, Survivor Goat the real deal.